Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we implement image cropping using Android. So at first, let's start with something like Android image crop library. So when we go to Google and write something like Android image crop library, we will find a very nice library and it is very simple to use and very efficient library which is called Android image cropper. So let's go to this library. Yes, it is this one. You will find some GIF image which illustrate the function of this Android image cropper library. So if you have any image, you can crop this image by using this library. Then let's go here and let's start with taking this one, which is the library Gradle. Copy this one. Let's go to our Android Studio application. Let's go here to the Gradle script, to the build Gradle, second one, of course, which is the module. Let's go down and let's here add this library. And of course, sync now to add this library. Then after you have added this library, this library need two permission, which is read external storage and write external storage. So you can get any files from your device. So let's add this to permission. Just copy the, those two lines, go here to the Android Studio, go to the manifest of the Android Studio, and then add those two permission, which is read and write external storage. So now everything is ready. Now let's go to our activity. Let's close those two files, which is the Gradle and the manifest. And let's start with adding an image view. Let's drag and drop this image view. Now let's select any picture as default, for example, anything What about this one, which is the default, of course, for Android. Okay, so after you have added this image, let's add some constraint from both sides. Yes, yeah, something like this. Of course, we can enlarge this image using the height and width from here. For example, let's suppose something like 100 dp as width and also 100 dp as height, of course, you can add skull type, something like um, center crop. Okay, anyway. Now, after we have added this image of you, okay, let's call this image of you as IV underscore crop. So now, when we click on this image, the application will ask us to select either an image or to get an image from camera, and then we are going to crop this image and display this image on the image view. So let's start the coding now. So here in the Kotlin, let's write something like IV underscore crop, which is the name of the image, dot set on a click listener. And here we will start the code. So to start our coding here, in the page of the library, we can copy this code. Of course, we don't need semicolon because we are going to use Kotlin. So copy this code and paste it here. This code is used, of course, to call the crop image class, which start using the crop image library. So just put the pointer here, alt enter to import the class and also here and alt enter. Okay, of course, to use the class. So now everything is ready. So when we click on the image view, we will get the image crop library to start taking an image either from camera or from the devices. Now, how can we receive the result from this library? We are going here before the last curly bracket for the class and let's call this one, which is on activity result. Of course, this function is used to get the result from the image crop library. Of course, when we go here 
to the page of the library, they have here an if condition which is used to check if the user has select OK for the crop. So when we copy this line and of course put it here, let's remove this line now and use this if which means if the user accept or click on crop on the activity of the crop library then how can we get the result to get the result we should use this line which will take the result and store them in the result variable so now we are going to best this one which means take the result from the uh, the crop image and put it here in this variable which is the result one is kotlin we are going to change it to something like var result equal crop image dot activity so the result variable will store the result which is the cropped image then iv crop dot set image dot set image uri equal result which is our variable dot uri so now everything is ready to tap okay after we have write the code the last step now is to take this one which is the built-in activity copy this activity and paste it here in the manifest so when we go to the manifest and go to the last line of the manifest and here before the application tag just best this one now let's check our example run and click on ok ok let's click on the image view as you can see you will get either to take a photo from camera from gallery or other so let's take camera for example let's take some photo okay now as you can see here you can crop this image up to you and then after you crop the image just click on crop and yes as you can see here you will get the cropped image inside your image view so in this video we have talked about how can we crop an image using the crop image library and see you in the next one